Hi, my name is Funke Bella, aka Mrs. Fabulous, aka Fabulous Funky, the one and only wife of MC Tunde Bella. Welcome to this kitchen. If this is your first time here, welcome! <laughs> and if you're a returning subscriber and you're back for more, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming back. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing. We upload a cooking tutorial video every Friday. For who? For you. So please consider subscribing to our channel. So ladies and gentlemen, the video of this week is with a special twist. We're continuing with this Niger series. And in this series, it's actually got an extra, extra twist on it because we have also gone to the market to do the shopping for this cooking today. Ladies and gentlemen, the first part of this video, come along with me to Makoko Fish Market. Good morning. Good morning. So today we're going to Makoko Fish Market. I will buy fish and I will cook fish and I will show you. So stay tuned. So follow us as we go to Makoko Fish Market. I'm with Mama K. Mama K, say good morning to beautiful people. Good morning. <laughs> good morning, people. Good morning, people. Good we'll morning. see you at the market. Yes, yes. Makoko Fish Market is a wonderful place for fish lovers. It is a very busy market located on Herbert Makoli Street in Yaba, Lagos, Nigeria. This fish market is open every day of the week where you get the best deals on Tuesday and Wednesday mornings. Makoko Fish Market boasts of a variety of freshly sourced seafood, including squid, crab, prawn, calamari, sea snails, and even snakes and they're all at very reasonable prices. Makoko Fish Market is divided into different sections. A section where the fish and seafood sellers are, a different section where the pepper sellers and the condiment sellers are, and there is also a separate section where the fishmongers sit. If you are not sure, please feel free to ask. On this trip, Mama K was very happy to show me around Makoko Fish Market. Okay. 
okay so beautiful people these are the peppers and um tomatoes scotch bonnet apparently they say the smaller the scotch bonnet pepper the hotter so i will not be using all the scotch bonnet peppers in here so we have um we also have shombo this is um long red bell pepper long red pepper i don't know what exactly do you call shombo in english but there you go so we had chombo tomatoes tatashi these are the tatashi this this will be equivalent of our red bell peppers so this is where you get tatashi rodo scotch bonnet and chombo and tomatoes and we bought some onions and we're going to use this to make our stew so these peppers and onions all of this cost 1350 actually remember I had Mama K and Mama K is a good <laughs> bargainer. So we got this really good deal for the tomatoes and the peppers. So yeah, here we go. Nice and fresh, cook it fresh, eat it fresh. Fresh fish, fresh peppers, everything fresh. I'm going to be shining by the end of all this. <laughs> so there you go. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I bet you enjoyed that trip to Makoko Fish Market. That was my first time in that market and it felt so good ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed that if you enjoyed that part of the video please smash that like button as i like to say and if you're not subscribed i don't know what you're waiting for do you want to miss another trip to another market <laughs> please subscribe to this channel so i can keep you posted on the things i get up to anyway so these are the ingredients i bought from the makoko fish market so this is the fish i've showed you already and that's the pepper and i'm going to use a little bit of oil uh, and i'm not using a lot of seasoning because the fish was alive when i bought it the the peppers the tatashi and the rodo they were so fresh when i bought them so you don't need seasoning when you're eating fresh like this you actually need to just cut it fry it eat it and you're on the way to a clean bill, bill of health. So today I'm not going to be using any artificial seasoning. Actually, I'm just going to be using thyme, curry powder, and a little bit of salt. That's all I'm going to need to make this stew. I'm making a fish stew. The boys want to eat white rice today and I want to eat eba. So we just thought, let's just make a fish stew. Everyone's happy with the fish stew, isn't it? If you like a fish stew, put it in the comment section below or smash that like button anyway so to make this fish stew the first thing i'm going to do is to blend the peppers i'm going to be using diabella thank you diabella for allowing the bellas to use your kitchen throughout our stay in lagos nigeria she has allowed us to use our kitchen so thank you so much big up <laughs> so i will be blending this peppers and then i'll show you how i start my fish Chew. okay so ladies and gentlemen i've now cleaned my peppers and onions and all of them and they're now sitting in the blender to be blended i had to hold back a little bit on the shombo and rodo because i'm not quite sure of how hot they are i keep hearing different stories about the smaller the hotter and this scare stories about pepe in nigeria so I think I'm going to err on the side of caution in this blend just to prevent any accident by peppering. So I'm going to blend the peppers now. I've left some aside. Leave in the comment section below. Am I too careful with this pepper? I think I am, but better be safe than to be sorry. So I'll blend this now and then I'll continue with the rest of the dish. Okay, so now that the peppers have been nicely blended, I'll just add a little bit of oil into the pot. 
not too much oil because the fish is good fish it already has oil team fit fam team healthy living so i'm just gonna give the oil a little bit of time to heat up and then i'll put the onions in so now the oil is hot enough or warm enough i'll put the onions in i just chopped up a little bit of onion So I'm just gonna fry that up for a minute or two just to bring out the aroma and I'm going to use the aroma and the flavors from the onion oil to cook my my stew so ladies and gentlemen this is probably going to be the simplest kind of stew you can make everyone can make this kind of stew we rustle up everything together and you're good to go we'll be happy to eat that with our eba and the boys will be happy to eat that with their rice okay so it looks like my onions are infusing nicely in the oil now it's time for me to add my pepper blend mix in it goes Okay, so as I said earlier, I'm not adding any artificial seasoning to this stew. It's just a healthy, basic stew, and it's going to be ready in no time. So all I'm adding is curry, thyme, and a bit of salt. I already measured out the quantity I need into this plate here, and in it goes. I'll give that a little stir. Just to make sure it's thoroughly combined and now put the lid on it. And I'm going to allow my stew to now cook just the, the base of the stew to cook for about 10 minutes once the base is ready i put the fish in voila stew is done so stick with me this won't take long at all okay so it's been about 10 minutes that our stew base has been cooking away and as i said earlier this is probably gonna be the simplest stew that you can ever make and this kind of stew you can use fish chicken beef turkey any protein of your choice but because i went to makaka fish market of course it has to be fish hence the fish business is going on okay so it's time for the fish to go into the sauce now you can compare the difference in the look of this the stew now to when i showed you earlier So I'm gonna now start putting the fish into the sauce and of course I'm gonna go with the head first. Look at it, it's smiling at you. Okay so all the fish have gone in and I'm just gonna cover the fish and make sure they all they all submerge in the sauce so they can be nicely coated in the sauce okay so now i'm gonna put the lid back on and allow the stew to cook together for about five to six minutes and then we should be done okay so ladies and gentlemen it's been about 10 minutes that the fish has been cooking in the stew let's have a look Whoa, look at that looks like the fish is nicely cooked in the stew as i said earlier this kind of stew can be had with rice 
uh, what other options to Nebula? Rice, Eba, Amala, pounded yam, anything you like. This is like the natural base of any any stew. You can eat it on its own. Or you can eat it on its own, which I think is what I'm going to do actually. <laughs> so it's done. I'll show you what it looks like in the plate now. okay so ladies and gentlemen we're, we're now done we've come to the end of this episode i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed coming with me on the trip to makoko fish market and i hope you like the way i cooked the fish i bought from makoko fish market if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to smash that like button and if you're not subscribed to our channel yet this is a good time for you to do that so thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video Look after yourself. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Anyway, I couldn't decide. So I thought while I'm waiting to decide on what to eat with this stew, let me taste it first. So I've got a piece in this plate and I'm going to just taste it and show you. Mm. Oh, wow. I'm glad I held back on the pepper. This is just right. It's just perfect. So delicious. Even if I say so myself. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.